Hello everyone, this is Zen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be talking about a lot of things. First, I have a couple announcements. I have a giveaway to complete and I have a sponsor. So Tonic Treasures, a lot of you guys are familiar with Sarn. He's part of the Telegram group. He's actually one of our members in our community. He was also at the Zen Lounge LA pop-up event. Please support his, uh, his business. Check out his website. He has some amazing products. I'm using his uh, deer antler, deer antler, uh, basically elixir, super potent, super powerful. I've been using his supplements for a long time. He has reishi, all different types of stuff. Uh, go to Tonic Treasures and just check out everything. I think he's really famous for his she legit. He's a really powerful story. I should probably bring him on the show sometime. Uh, maybe I'll have him on the show, but yeah, check out his products. He is supporting the Zen Lounge and he's a member of our community. Moving on, you guys know we've been hyping up uh, X Crusaders, part of the Equilibrium Games family, and I have a giveaway. So I have a special giveaway. I announced it a few days ago. I finally have time to announce the winner, and I chose uh, Sarah Bozik. So Sarah, basically, uh, on her response, basically writing why she deserves a win, she was affected by, by a scammer that scammed a bunch of Bitcoin from her. And she's working on building her portfolio again. So I think, hey, you're a warrior. You're a crusader working to build and get fight for what's uh, working to get back for what was taken from you. So uh, I thought a gift would be nice. So uh, Sarah, make sure to message me. I'll message you. I have your email and congratulations for uh, winning the token. Now to the serious news, everybody. Uh, we're going to be going into some information with Stellar today. We haven't talked about Stellar in a long time. We're going to be talking about a lot of different subjects that are all going to connect. So Stellar was, uh, we, we saw this in March 10th, 2022, Project Jump Cannon, where they're choosing, they're, they're building smart contracts off Stellar. And uh, we finally, April 21st, I'm a little bit late on this, I got the outcome of what they're going to move forward with with Project Jump Cannon. They're assessing a few different options from the EVM to move to WebAssembly, which is the WASM and EBPF. And what they chose was WASM. Seems to be a similar trend that's happening. Uh, WASM seems to be the standard for a lot of these really, um, you know, pro these huge projects are looking to become massively adopted. So WASM it is. Um, so back to the bottom line, we're focusing on WASM for Project Jump Cannon. We believe it provides robust execution environment for smart contracts, has a thriving ecosystem and can be built and can be used to build a system that's safe, scalable, and promote equitable access. So in their next article, you have to stay tuned for these answers, but these are some of the questions they're going to be asking. Which WASM implementation to use? Which source language to support? What is the contract storage module model? What is the contract model? Uh, what is the interoperability story with the existing Stellar protocol and many more? So they're still ongoing their research. And we could see here IOTA, they're building with WebAssembly. You see here, uh, IOTA, ISO 20022 is going with WASM. Cosmos is going with WASM. Also, if we look back here, we can see Corium shocked a lot of people when they announced they're deciding not to go with the EVM, go with the WASM. So it all goes back to Corium. Let's read um, why they chose the WASM. We could read it here, smart contract. Ethereum has revolutionized, revolutionized the way code and smart contract ex execution takes place in the blockchain by pioneering the Ethereum virtual machine. Well, EVM was great at the time for smart contract execution. Is many limitations and lacks support for modern smart contracts. We believe WebAssembly is much greater engine for smart contract execution. As much greater scalability and support, it was developed by the W3C. And a little side note, Ripple is partnered with W3C. So wor the World Wide Web, con I can't say that word, with support from companies such as Mozilla, Google, and others. Where was the CEO of Stellar from? Danielle, Mozilla. So, uh, it's all connecting. While being portable, Turing complete, effective com developers can write their smart contracts in different langu language program pr languages such as Rust, JavaScript, a uh, bunch of things. Wasm is fast, efficient, open, debuggable, platform independent memory, safe and perfect for smart contract execution. 
So this is big. This is big. Uh, we're seeing, you know, what the big players are choosing. So I'm going to leave this article in the description below. It's called, what is the theory, uh, the battle of the virtual machine while I'm in the EVM. So you can learn more about the battle of uh, what's been happening behind the scenes. Some other current information that I've basically already shared in the Telegram and Discord. Uh, we're already seeing some hype. You guys saw the video I posted last about the airdrop opportunity for the play to earn games. The first ever on that's functional on the XRP ledger is called a uh, flying jumbo. And uh, basically you're able to play. I'm hearing that may they're going to launch the full mo the full version right now. It's just a demo, but you're able to play. And every time you play, you get 0.1 jumbo token given to you. And it's pretty addicting. And this other gaming had a 2000% increase in their user base with play to earn games. I could definitely see, I'm still sticking to it. I've said since the beginning of this year that play to earn games is gonna be way bigger than the NFT art movement that we're seeing right now. I just think that it, it's, uh, it requires more of your attention than a traditional art NFT. I'm, not that I don't like the art NFT. I think it's huge. I love the Sologenic NFT marketplace. I just think gaming NFTs is going to be something special. And, and it's also going to basically be a doorway for a whole new set of investors to basically start coming to the crypto markets. Cause that's the one thing, a lot about what, a lot of what's happening is, you know, how do we onboard people that would never invest in crypto, you know? And one of the ways that we could get some people onto the network is uh, play to earn games. Gamers will basically be able to experience what it's like to, you know, purchase in-game NFTs and, and uh, you know, so much DeFi within the games and eventually they'll convert from using a traditional bank to going alternative and going with cryptocurrencies. I believe that, that gaming is going to be a great way to onboard new people uh, into these networks. So uh, this is a positive article that we are on track, a new DAP ra ra radar report report revealed that play to earn games saw an over 2000% increase in their user base during the first three months of, of 2022. And this is going to go through the roof once equilibrium gains is fully up and everything else is going on. So what else is going on in the world today, Brazil Senate approves Bitcoin's law to regulate cryptocurrencies. It's a historic day for cryptocurrencies in Brazil as the Senate has finally approved the country's first bill aimed at regulating the crypto market. Now, what does the first thing that pop up in my mind? You know, the decode that we've been working on for a long time, BRICS, BRICS, Brazil, Russia, Africa, um, what's the Z? No, BRICS, <laughs> I'm retarded. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. So we know this has been going on behind the scenes and uh, just another, you know, now that we see Stellar working on uh, smart contracts and getting things up to speed, it's important to know that Stellar has been pretty deep in Brazil and uh, in Argentina for a while. So Stellar has been in Brazil for some time, you know, creating these new uh, fiat currency onboarding to the crypto, to the crypto ecosystems. Uh, something else I want to talk about, something I'm going to give you guys some alpha news for a big airdrop coming to Cosmos. So a lot of you guys know the drill with Cosmos. Uh, the rule is you want to stake 25 Atom to qualify for big airdrops. If you had Atom staked, you would have been able to qualify for Evmos. You would have been able to qualify for Juno airdrop. So many osmosis, many more. So it's important to stake and become a community member in Cosmos because Jay Kwan, a lot of people don't even know who this is, but this guy is like a legend in the blockchain world. He was talking about the multi-chain theory in, in crypto well before, a year before it ever became even, you know, the trend it is today. Uh, Jay Kwan also developed amazing apps on iPhone, such as you probably used it, Yelp. He used Yelp. And he just announced that he launched a new project called uh, uh, No Land, No Land. I hope I'm pronouncing that uh, correctly, but no lands are basically smart contracts uh, programmed in Go language. Go language is one of the easiest programming language for programmers. It's going to be massive. So make sure to get some Atom Cosmos. Make sure to get some Atom. Stake it. 
before July 4th because you'll get a bonus if it's staked. You don't even need a stake for this one, actually. As long as you have Adam, July 4th, no land is going to be coming. So uh, the solution to Solana scaling performance failures will reside on Cosmos and it's called no land. No land aims, uh, aims to truly unlock concurrent transa transactions with no element of conflict, hence speeding up transactions while maintaining security coming 2022. Uh, let's see what Jay Kwan says about it. He calls it, it's the next smart contracting pl uh, platform, Plan 9 on steroids. Imagine Ethereum 3.0, uh, July 4th, 2022. If you know, you know. Uh, this is going to be big. You need to be part of Cosmos. Uh, no land to create more robust, unbreakable, unstoppable, interoperable, multi-threading, concurrent processing enabled. Solana's multi-threading has shortcomings. Smart contract platform. The vision here is mind-blowing. This is going to be one of the biggest airdrops to happen in Cosmos. I believe that. Uh, even bigger than Juno. So make sure to follow this account. It's brand new. And uh, be on the lookout for uh, information on the upcoming airdrop. Uh, so um, I think Jay Kwan said some information will be coming out before uh, July 4th on like staking minimums and everything that you need to be to be qualified for this airdrop. But yeah, you should watch this video. Jay Kwan basically talking, it also talked about Tendermint. So he developed Tendermint, which also uh, Quorum is building off of. So it's important to know Tendermint Tendermint basically allows these self-amending ledgers to exist with a governance to, for the people and communities to solve problems that haven't even existed, you know, when these chains first come out, you know, there's going to be new problems that come out and um, Tendermint is an amazing operating system. Uh, Jay Kwan is the creator of that as well. So this guy is like a super genius and uh, he just announced he's working on another project. So make sure to, to uh, stay alert for, uh, for that project. Everybody, this is not financial advice. I'm just simply sharing what I'm researching, what I'm looking into. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. More evidence about Wasm basically being the, being the smart contract uh, machine of choice for uh, the, big, the, big, uh, the big boys. We talked about the X Crusader giveaway. Congratulations to Sarah. And we talked about you know, a stellar, some exciting stellar news and more. Everybody have an awesome day. Uh, please consider uh, signing up for my website if you want some more content. If you'd like to join my Discord for uh, more information from me about airdrops, uh, incentivized test nets and more. And I also do uh, consulting. So if you'd like to book, book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, I have a link below and uh, we could have a conversation. I could help you uh, with that, whatever you need help with. All right, guys, I'm going to enjoy my day. I hope you enjoy yours. Peace.